everyone, thank you all so much for stopping by the channel today and welcome back to this brand new video. Now in today's new tutorial, I am going to be showing you a male grey and pink modded outfit tutorial using the two console glitch working off the lids patch of 1.52. Now this is the end result outfit right here, so as you can see, these are all of the items that are on it. We have pink body armor, the pink adversary gloves, Tron shoes, we have grey joggers, grey jersey. There are a lot of items going on on this outfit, but don't worry, I will guide you through the whole process into making this end result. So as always, I'm going to be showing you the two console glitch um, the first time with the logos, and then every time I'm going to be telling you you need to do the two console glitch using the parachute bags to flip the items or to create the magic slots in order to merge. So before we start with the setup outfits, first of all, you must know that for the two console glitch, of course, you need a second console or you need a friend with access to your account. So you can do this with a PS4 and PS5. Um, also, if you have a PS4 and PS5, you can simply do that. And um, yeah, you can also just do this with a friend if you do not have a second console laying around. Now you will also need a program called NetCut. I will leave that in the description box down below. If you're having any troubles with it, you can go to my Twitter and use the hotspot method link it there right there. It works for me 100% of the time, so it makes the glitch a lot easier. Now what you're going to do is for your C2, you want to make sure that you are loaded inside of story mode. So just log into your account, um, load up the game, and once you are in story mode, you can switch back over to C1. Um, C2 should be like suspended, but it should still be in story mode, if you know what I mean. So on C1, we are going to be creating a three outfits, first of all, to set up the logos. So on C1, you want to save the gray racing suit. On C2, we have the step one, building your own logo outfits. If you do not have this one yet, video link will be in the description box down below. And as always, on a slot number 20, we have the orange v-neck t-shirt saved right there in order to create the merch for the jersey. So this is what your setup should be looking like right now. You should have slot 1, 2, and slot number 20. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a C1, which is the racing suit. You want to apply the Israel parachute back to it. And once you have seen the yellow save icon, you're now going to open up the NetCut program. Now you want to go ahead and find your, um, your own C1 console inside of there. You want to click on the Wi-Fi icon. And as soon as it turns red, you can now log into C2 and you can um, swap the outfits. I'm going to be showing you that. So here I am on C2, as you can see, loaded inside of story mode, like I mentioned in the beginning. And from now, you want to go to an invite-only session. Now, once you are loaded in, you can simply um, pull up the interaction menu. You can go to style and from here apply C2 and again put on the parachute back. It's very important that you do that or else um, the merge will not be created. Now, after you've done that, just to get a yellow save icon, you can just go back into story mode and C2 is basically done. So now we're going back over to C1, which should still be outside of the cluster. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the interaction menu, go to style parachutes, and from here just simply hover over it to not press anything. You want to go back into NetCut first, and your C1 should still be like red with the red Wi-Fi icon. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that, and then your game will start reconnecting the Wi-Fi as usual. So once it's going to be doing that, you quickly want to take off the parachute and after the yellow save icon, you should basically get kicked out of your game. Now once you get kicked out, you will get different types of screens. You just want to accept them all and simply log back into your account, go back to the GTA 5 game. So back in the game, you should get any type of alert message, but make sure that you're going inside of story mode. So you want to accept the message and if you go to story mode then you're good to go. If it says like joining a new session and you will spawn in public, just go to invite only first or else the glitch will not work. Now in story mode we're going to a public session. If you know for sure that you did it correctly, make sure that everything is turned white and not gray or else you will get the um, failed loading screen basically. 
Now, once you are in this public session, you should load in with this outfit combination with the navy jacket and a racing suit. So we're going to be using a crooked cob as always to merge the items together. So simply start it up by yourself or join it from a friend or a random player. One thing that you must keep in mind is make sure that clothing has to be set to player owned and then you are good to go. So once the job is loaded up, you will be at the outfit selection screen. So from here, you're going to scroll once to the left to apply the merge and then back once to the right to get the logos on. Now, once you have it set up like this, you can simply hit ready to play and instead of the mission, you're just going to pull up the interaction menu, go to style accessories and on gear, you're going to go once to the left to put on your earpiece. Now, once you have that applied, I suggest you go into creator and from there, press pause and go to invite only. It saves a lot of time and it goes a lot quicker. So now we have the logos basically all set up. So you're going to save that as your C1, but at first you're going to be changing some items on it. So you want to go into the top section first. From here, we're going into the utility vest and so you're going to apply the Peach Camo Plate Carrier. Now we're basically going to be doing the um, telescope glitch to put the gas mask on it. And after that, we're just doing the Titan of a Job method in order to um, put the black ripped shirt through our orange t-shirt. So you're gonna change the pants into the Love Heart Boxer shirts also on number 34 and make sure that you have no shoes applied. So then again, you can uh, save that as your C1 and then you wanna apply any of the high score rolls with the gas mask on them. Now, once applied, you wanna make your way over to the nearest um, telescope. You can go to your own apartment if you want that, but I suggest to go over to the beach because for the Titan of a Job method, we do have to be outside. So at the beach, you're just going to run past the telescope, quickly press right on the D-pad, and once you are glitched out, you can apply your C1 with the interaction menu. Simply walk away and then the mask will spawn on. So now you can go over to the closed door again, to the mask door. Simply resave it as your C1. And so after that, you can back out and hit kill yourself. So after that, once you are basically spawned back in, you're going to open up the interaction menu, go to style, and from here, you're going to spam your C1 outfit for like 10 to 20 seconds. I always do it like 10 seconds. That's good enough. So then you're going to close down the interaction menu. You should get a yellow save icon, and then your outfit is all prepared. So you're going to go ahead and load up a Titan of a job underneath the Rockstar Created Missions section and you're just going to load it up by yourself. Now, once loaded up, you should load in without the utility vest applied on your character. Then you are good to go. So you're just going to make your way over to the emanation inside of the job. Simply resave it on a C1. So we have now created a um, Titan belt merge. So then you're going to go into the top section of the emanation. From here, you're going to apply any of the vests. And then you're putting on the black bands of vest shirt from the vest shirt section. Once applied, you can simply pull up the phone and quit the title of a job. And then you want to make sure that you are in a public session. So then in that public session, we're just going to grow back into Crooked Cop. Now I'm just going to explain it one more time. A clothing player owned, you can host it or join it from somebody else. So once loaded up, we are back on the outfit selection screen. This time you're going to scroll once to the right to merge the vest shirt onto the orange t-shirt. This is what it's going to look like. So we've now created like a ripped shirt and the orange t-shirt is basically a merge component for the jersey. So that's how it works. So again, you're going to hit ready to play and in the mission, apply your earpiece and quit through creator. So now we have the vest shirt applied. So again, you're going to be saving that as your C1. And the next step will be getting the gray joggers underneath this. So I suggest um, to get the get gray joggers. Oh my God, I wanted to say something else, sorry. <laughs> I suggest to get the gray joggers through the two causal method too. I do not suggest you to do it with the job. I think it's patched, I'm not sure. So you're just going to grab any jogger that you have already saved. So I'm using the white ones. You don't specifically have to use these, but it's up to you. 
and you're going to save that as your joggers too. Now, what I suggest you is to also get the modded gray helmet too. You can also get it from the store, but the modded one is a little bit more clean. So if you do want to get the helmet too, then you're going to be applying the ox and hatchet dome on top of your joggers. Save it as joggers too. I'm just going to put it at the bottom of my outfits list because it works a lot easier basically. So for Joggers 1, we are using a colored helmet, which you must already need. I know that they are currently unobtainable, but um, if you do already have one laying around, you can simply flip this from colors. So put on your colored helmet outfit, and then you're going to be changing the pants into the red cargo shorts to flip the Joggers into gray. And then you're going to be saving that as Joggers 1 right above your original Joggers outfit, basically. So now you can go ahead and do the two console glitch and this time you're using the Israel parachute bag. Use Joggers 1 as your C1, Joggers 2 as your C2, but I did forgot it right here. You need to apply some glosses to you in order to flip the helmet. So please make sure that you do that or else your helmet will not change into gray. So if done correctly, you should load in with the gray Joggers and the helmet flipped to gray. This is what it's going to look like. So you can now save your gray joggers on merch slot number 20. So what I do suggest you to do is to save the helmet in a different slot so that you will not lose it because probably um, if you delete the merch, then you will also delete your helmet. So I saved the helmet somewhere uh, else and then I took it off and then I saved the joggers only as my merch basically. So now that we have that all set, we can finish off our original C1 and C2. So C1 should have the boxer shorts on them. We're just going to go back into the pants from here, go into the jeans and apply the dark blue regular fit. And then you're saving that as C2. Now once saved, you can do the two console glitch using C1 and C2. And this time you only have to use the Israel parachute back. Now for the outfit, the step one logo outfit, make sure that you do save it somewhere else. We will need it later on in this glitch video. So after completing that, we are just going back into Crooked Cop to merge the jars on. So you know how it works on the clothing player owned, um, on the clothing owned screen, sorry. We're just gonna scroll one to the left to apply the gray joggers, the merge, and then we're gonna go one to the right and then your jogger should be merging on. So this is what it's going to look like. So again, you're just going to put on your earpiece to simply quit the job. So now we have the gray joggers applied on there. So the next step will be putting the Tron shoes on them. So you're going to save this as your C1 with no shoes applied. So then you're going to go into the shoes, apply the gray skate shoes, and then save that as your C2. Now for the merch on slot number 20, we are of course using the pink deadline suit and saving that on slot number 20, make sure that you take off the helmets. Now, once your setup is looking like this, you can do the two console glitch using C1 and C2, but you have to set your parachute back to classic in order for the shoes to create a merge. If done correctly, you should load in a looking like this, basically just a C1 outfit. We're gonna go back into Crooked Cop and on the outfit selection screen, scroll one to the left to apply the Tron suit, and then once to the right to apply the Tron shoes underneath. Now you will not see it, I will show you that in a second. But this is what it's going to look like. So again, you're putting on your earpiece, simply quitting the mission. Now what I suggest you to do is to finish the Crooked Cop job at least once in this process or else you will end up in bad sports and I don't think that you will like that very much. So now the bottom of our outfit is basically fully done. So the next step will be putting on the pink adversary mod gloves onto them. So you're going to save what you quit at Crooked Cup with as your C1 with the joggers and the shoes on them. And then for your C2, we are just applying some gloves in order to create a merge. So you're going to put on the gray digital tactical gloves to save that as your C2. And as your merge, you're going to be saving the black biker suit on a slot number 20. Now we're first of all merging the black gloves on them and after that we will flip them into the pink adversary color. So if your setup is looking like that, you can do it using C1 and C2 with the classic shoot back. 
after completing that, we're just going to go back into Crooked Cop to put the gloves onto this. So again, on the outfit selection screen, we're scrolling once to the left to apply the biker suit and then back once to the right to put the biker gloves on them. This is what it's going to look like. So as always, put on your earpiece, quit the job or finish it. So now we ha have all of the basic items onto there basically. So what we're going to do right now is flip the gloves into pink. And then we're going to be working on the whole top combination, which is kind of difficult, but don't worry, I will guide you through the process. So you're going to save what you exited the Crooked Cup with as your C1. And then for um, the next step, we are just going to be making a C2 and this time no merge. We're just only flipping the color. So you're going to be applying the splinter tactical gloves and then just saving that as your C2. Now these gloves will make sure that our black biker suit will change into pink. So what you can do is do the two console methods using C1 and C2. And you can do that using the Israel or classic parachute bag. So if done correctly, you should load in with the pink race gloves and you can simply save that as your C1. Now I already did that right here. Here they are. And um, actually, we do not have to save that as C1. You're going to save that at the bottom of your outfit list because I will show you that in a second or C1 and C2 are different. We first of all need to put like the pink body armor on or a C2. Um, yeah, it's the whole process. I will show that in a second. But what you have right now with like the flipped gloves, I suggest saving that at the bottom of your outfit list, just like you see that I am doing right here. So now we need to get the jersey. So here I got it, the green adversary jersey. A video link for that will be in the description box down below showing you how to obtain the jersey. Now, if you have it, you're going to be saving that also at the bottom of your outfit list. We're going to be um, flipping this into the gray modded jersey. So what you're going to do is you're going to save this at jersey 2. So here I'm just putting that on a slot number 18 and on slot number 17, we are putting the components in order to flip it into gray. So once you have it saved, you're going to go into the tops. You're going to apply the green check jacket from the track jacket section. Make sure that you take off the t-shirt underneath and then you're going to save that as jersey number one. And this green jacket will make sure that the jersey flips into gray. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the two causal glitch using a jersey one and a jersey two. And you're going to do that um, using the Israel parachute back. If done correctly, you should load in with the jersey flipped into gray. I suggest taking off the helmets and then your jersey is all set up for merging it onto the outfit basically. So you can delete jersey 1 and jersey 2 and just simply save the gray one anywhere. Um, I suggest saving it on, I don't know, slot number 16 or 17. I don't know how many slots you have free, save it at the bottom. So the next step will be getting the pink body armor. Now for that you need to get a modded body armor. Now I already have one, which is from my red outfit tutorial that I did a couple of days ago. So you can get a modded body armor by starting off the uh, mission work dispute from your MOC. Make sure that you host it, you will load in with a modded black body armor. A video link for that will be in the description box down below showing you how to save that. If you have that modded body armor, you can simply save that at the bottom of your outfit list again. Just going to call it armor 2. So if you have a different colored armor, you can use that too. It doesn't have to specifically be the black, red, whatever one. If you have one, you can simply flip that. Also, it doesn't matter on which outfit it is. So we're going to change that into pink. So for that, you're going to be taking off the whole top combination that you're having. And you're applying the super heavy armor. So I just suggest saving that right above. So I just call it armor 1. And then you can now do the two console glitch using armor 1 and armor 2 using the Israel parachute back. If done correctly, you should now have the pink body armor and you're going to save that as your merch on slot number 20. So now we have everything obtained in order to finish the top combination together. So here I got it saved. You can now delete armor 1 and armor 2. I am almost running out of slots, but I'm still here. I can still do it. 
So now for the original C1 and C2. Now you should probably notice this outfit. It's what I told you earlier, the outfit from the beginning, the original step one, um, build your own logo outfits basically. So we're going to be putting the pink body armor onto this or else there's no other way the um, pink body armor will change colors onto it. So this is what it's going to look like. You're just going to grab your original C2 outfit and we're going to be changing the items onto it. So first of all, you want to go into the shoes. You're going to go into the rubberized boots and apply the gray and yellow trail. Now for pants, you're going to go into cargo pants and apply the dark woodland cargoes. And for glass, we are again using those splinter tactical ones. Now, very important, apply the heavy body armor and then you're going to save that as your C1. Now for C2, it is very easy. You just want to take off the armor and simply save that as C2. And your merch should be the pink body armor on slot number 20. So now you can do the two console glitch using C1 and C2 using the Israel parachute bag. If done correctly, you should load in without the body armor. So we're going to be using Crooked Cop to merge the pink body armor onto there. So simply go over to the Crooked Cop mission on the outfit selection screen, go once to the left to apply your pink body armor, and then go once to the right to merge it onto or C2. And this is what it's going to look like. So if you have it set like that, you want to hit ready to play, apply your earpiece, finish it or quit the job. So now we're going to be doing the two console method one last time to put all of the top combinations together. So with this, with the pink body armor, you're going to save that as your C2. And you're going to be grabbing the original outfit that we have created with the pink gloves onto it. You want to apply the heavy body armor again, or the super heavy body armor. And then you're going to save that as your C1. So this should be C1 and C2 right now. And now we're going to be grabbing the gray jersey that we got earlier. And we're going to be saving that as our merch on a slot number 20. So you just simply delete that, move that over to slot number 20. And then this is what your setup is going to be looking like right now. So you're going to be doing the two console glitch one last time using C1 and C2 and use the Israel parachute bag for that. If done correctly, you should load in with the outfit exactly looking like this. If you see anything change colors, make sure that you recheck your components because if anything is different right now, this is what your end result is going to be looking like. Basically, the navy jacket will be replaced with the gray jersey and everything else will stay the same. So make sure that you check that correctly. No mistakes. And if you're good to go, you can go into Crooked Cop for the final merge. So again, on the outfit selection screen, we're scrolling once to the left to apply the gray jersey and then go once to the right to merge it on. And then your outfit is finally done and all built together. So this is what it's going to look like. So again, just hit ready to play, apply your earpiece and quit the job. So now that you're all set, you can finish it off with any accessories of your choice. Now, of course, I suggest you to add the gray helmet that we have got earlier before. You can simply apply a scarf with your interaction menu without anything spawning off. So for me, I applied the black desert scarf and I have applied the jet black duffel bag onto this. And this is what my finished result gray and pink outfit is looking like. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications to get informed with the latest videos and the newest outfit tutorials. Then I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye guys.